everyone, it's Lauren here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a layout with you as part of my commitment to the Pink Fresh Studio Design Team. And I am using their beautiful new collection called Let's Stay at Home, which is a it's a it's a cuddle from Pink Fresh Studio whilst trying to get us through this tricky time that's happening in the world. So today, using this beautiful new collection, I thought I would do a mixed media layout. Uh, using their beautiful water cup, liquid watercolour set and some of their beautiful ephemera from the Let's Stay at Home. And I've grabbed out some tags, some uh, florals, some I'm going to use some puffy stickers and I'm using one of their gorgeous cut files. Now, I, I, I'm always a fan of mixed media and I really didn't intend on this to being a monochromatic layout, but that's what it's intended to be. And really, orange is not one of my favourite colours. And so I love that I've really, not planning on, steps outside of my comfort zone and created a layout that's usually, it's using a colour that I wouldn't normally go to. It is my husband's favourite colour, mind you. And I've created a layout and at the end result, I really do love it. And it was just fun. As you can see, I've just been playing around with those liquid watercolours and I've just put, mixed and blend the colours and made my own colour palette just by using three of the Pink Fresh Studio watercolours. The colours that I've used are called Clementine. Let's get the other one. Candy Apple. And the gorgeous bright yellow is called Sunshine. I, I don't have my glasses on while doing this video, so picking up those little bottles was a little bit challenging. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm showing my age there by saying that, aren't I? But um, yeah, so all I did was... As you saw, I just put a droplet in each of the, uh, the that little watercolour palette there and then I blended a couple of the colours and just to lighten the colours in just two of them, I used some Liquitex um, acrylic white ink and the beautiful thing about the um, acrylic ink is that it turns it into a, it feels like an acrylic paint. So you can apply it to liquid watercolour and it, and it really makes a solid colour. And as you can see up there on my little palette there, the ones, the ones that have that Liquitex white in it just really create a different effect with your, with your colours. It makes a real solid. So not that one. The yellow, the yellow um, I didn't put it in as well. Um, now let's see if I apply. I'm not sure if I apply any more of the other orange. I, I usually dab this off there. Now I began this um, I began this background by use by using a clear gesso and that clear gesso I let that dry and that allows me to put a lot of wet product onto my page. Now and as you can see here I'm just applying and applying and applying more and more and more. That one there, see that one has the acrylic paint in it and see how you can see it's really solid, it's not as translucent as the others and you really can't, without me dabbing it off, you really can't see the colours that I've dried off below them. So the liquid watercolour gives you that beautiful effect where you can almost see depth and dimension if you're adding layers and drying off and adding layers. But if you add a bit of acrylic or use acrylic paint, that effect will not will not happen. It will be more of a solid mass, not a blendy kind of see-through-y effect. That sounds very technical, doesn't it? <laughs> not. <laughs> so just to finish off, I like, the reason why I love splatters is it gives my blob of colour, it gives a transition onto my background. Now, I hope that makes sense, but if I had not put the splatters on, I would have just had these this big blob of, like, orangey, orangey yellowy sort of colour there and it wouldn't have it wouldn't it would just be sitting in the middle of nowhere but by adding those splatters I've sort of just helped that transition from the the, the main colour block onto the white cardstock and that's what I find um, if I don't put those splatters on I tend to feel a little bit lost I feel a bit like okay well something else needs to go there but by just by adding those splatters it's just helped that transition 
off to that off to, into that white section and it's made me feel better <laughs> the other way of doing that also is if you had a real solid color in the center and then blended it right out softly and slowly to your outer edges i i don't i'm not very skilled as you can see i just put color everywhere dab it off put color everywhere dab it off i don't i'm not technical there's been no i've had no formal education blending it off slowly off into the off into the white cardstock world would not be something i would know how to do technically and it would be probably something i really need to play with in my art journal so i can really get that kind of technique happening for me before i go jumping it onto one of my layouts but i really like what i do and that's that big blob in the middle with the splatters on the outside very technical. <laughs> so here I am adding this stunning Pink Fresh Studio cut file. You can find the cut files over on the website. You can also find links to the cut files in our Pink Fresh Studio fan group. So I encourage you to join. All those details are linked below. And I've just run that floral down the side now I've just those two um, leaves that you can see up the top and the bottom they are meant to go off the side where I'm playing with my photo now but I thought it would be nice if I ran that kind of cut file feature down the page and just by adding those leaves up the top and up the bottom I've really been able to sort of keep the continu um, continuation of that pattern and it not look like I haven't um, fin completed the flower because I know that my photo is going to cover over that that section there so this photo is of me and some of my beautiful scrappy friends we managed to get away recently off into the mountains I would say we were actually in the mountains I had no we had no coverage no internet no phone coverage I felt when I first arrived I thought oh my goodness feeling a little uncomfortable with being disconnected by the end of it I thought I wanted to be disconnected forever <laughs> I had we had a lovely time and it was misty and rainy and sunny and there was a fireplace and a cabin and a gorgeous creative scrappy space and oh boy oh boy it recharged me and I would love to have stayed for an entire week but um, unfortunately life called me back but I do intend on putting it on my list to go there again with some scrappy girls and just yeah just recharge so I encourage you guys if you get your scrappy girls together and go off grid it will do you the world of good I I didn't realize how much I needed it until I realized how much better I felt <laughs> after it <laughs> I hope that makes sense so here I am, I'm just layering up on um, around this photo and I printed this photo with a little white border so I'd already done that bit and I'm using a tag and a little tag pocket there and I'm just adding a, sort of a cluster around the photo just to sort of give it a cuddle. So that's what I do when I'm layering up my photos, I'm thinking about giving it a cuddle and that's by adding multiple layers you might want to rough up the edges, you might want to tuck those little bits of ephemera in, but I want to cuddle the photo. I don't want to cuddle it so it smothers it and you can't see the photos, but I just want to wrap things around it and that's where I sort of sit as a scrapbooker. You will see in my layouts I tend to cluster around my photos. I don't end up uh, doing lots of clusters all over the page I tend to cluster around my photo and as you can see a beautiful black and white photo where you've got full face images looking directly at the camera you can go a little bit embellishment crazy because you know you're not going to lose the photo in all the embellishments especially if you've got stunning embellishments like this I love the fact that I'm getting those beautiful florals that aren't solids that they've got those white centers with just the colored the color scripty color outline there allows you to have a beautiful feature without taking away from your photo those gorgeous little trio of hearts is stunning and one, one of those is a die cut and the other is a puffy sticker and those other couple of little puffy stickers, the music note, the flower and that little pin Pinterest sign there um, are just stunning little puffy elements there but relatively this layout is really flat which is perfect for your albums as well. So just adding a little bit of journaling there in a white pen because I didn't want to take 
lose that uh, mixed media focus there and my layout's complete. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my latest video for Pink Fresh Studio. Happy scrapping. Take care. Bye. Thank you.